Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to look at in this video is the new quality of service feature that Unify has built into the Unify network application and Unify OS. I want to get some things out of the way at the beginning of this. So it tells you right here that Unify's primary quality of service is a gateway-based solution, which means it's not configuring the actual network ports. You're not doing this at a VLAN level. It's basically just at the gateway, monitoring for these packets, for whatever we tell it, and giving them higher priority. If you're an AV integrator, they do have some of the pro switches that can be configured for Dante, QSYS, SDVOE, and other pro AV solutions. That does work at the switch port level and does do DSCP tagging. But most of you probably aren't doing that and you're looking for some sort of quality of service to make sure your Teams doesn't run like ass or that Zoom works correctly or that your phone calls work. At a 30,000 foot view, this will work for smaller networks. Once we start putting VLANs on and once we start scaling the network, you're gonna to have to look at other solutions. But for now, if your network profile is small enough, this may work. That being said, anytime you deploy voice over IP in your network, if your equipment can do VLANs and you can do quality of service, you should always do that. But they included this, which means they recognize that it is needed and they're probably going to continue to make improvements in this area. So how do we configure the quality of service that they have now included? This is my UDR7. I'm running network 9.1.120 and Unify OS 4.1.22. You should make sure you're on the latest versions. And when we go to settings and routing, you're going to notice there's no QoS tab. And that is because to enable it, we have to go to a security and we have to upgrade to the new zone based firewall. If you're not comfortable with the new zone based firewall, you can do some other workaround things to try to get this to work um, using some routing, routing methods. Um, if you upgrade to the zone based firewall, you can't just turn it off do note that you have to restore to a backup that did not have the zone-based firewall. So you're going to want to make sure that you're comfortable with this. So we're going to go ahead and click, click, click to upgrade. And we're going to go ahead and upgrade that. And now that our zone-based firewall is enabled, when we go to routing, we now have this QoS tab. Here you can create a standalone QoS rule or they've, included this prioritized critical traffic. So if we hit configure, it's going to give us a default name, critical apps prioritization. And down here, you're going to see specific destination or target is Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, Zoom, WebEx, and FaceTime. They put five of them in there. Why they didn't put SIP in there, I have no idea. So we're going to Type in SIP and select SIP. This should pretty much cover the gamut for most people. Now, you can see here the interface that it wants to know is which, which WAN interface, because this is done at the gateway. It's not done at the network and the gateway level, which is how when we deploy voice at scale or video at scale, we're doing it through the entire network. We're not just doing it at the gateway. Here we can change a schedule. You may not be able to see that. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. So here you can set a schedule, daily, weekly, one time, or custom. We're going to leave it always. We're going to click add. And now at the gateway, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, Zoom, WebEx, FaceTime, and SIP all have priority over all of our other network traffic. Remember, though, we took a penalty because now offloading is disabled on our gateway. And there could be that 20 to 45% ding in performance that we saw. Now, if you want to create a, we'll delete this real quick. Firm, we can create a QoS rule and you can see that it is 
pretty much the exact same thing. When you start drilling into this, you can do limit, you can do prioritize and limit. The source could be any device, any network, destination. So you can give things going to YouTube higher priority. So you can kind of cut this up and do it the way you want. But just remember, it's not for your entire network. So it's everything rushing into that gateway. That being said, it, it should likely work for smaller networks. If you're running this, let me know what kind of experiences you've had down below. But it is this easy to turn this on, and I'm glad to see that they put this in here. I'm, I'm hoping that they connect the dots between this and switches and that we can do that QoS across the whole network. I hope that's coming soon. But let me know what you think about this. Are you running this already? Have you tested it? Have you had a chance to test it? Let me know what you think down below. Let me know how you run QoS on your network. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with affiliate links, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, if you need to get your network tuned up for voice or video or for other critical applications, if you need voice over IP, storage, security, all those things, head on over to willyhow.com. Fill out the contact form that's on the front page and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Come on over to community.willyhow.com and start a conversation about this topic and let us know what you're thinking. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.